Union County voters will decide on a sales tax referendum. This is a 1% increase to raise money for renovations to facilities like the Spurtenburg Community College, the Animal Shelter, and a few rec areas there as well. Teresa Bowles talked to voters and the college today. She's live with what's on the ballot. So, uh, Teresa, talked to Brooklyn about that. Of course, voter turnout always mm -hmm. key. Uh, what have you been seeing? Right, so now that people are starting to get off work, the polls are picking up a bit. There are people lining up and voting right now behind me as we speak. You can see them, and it won't be long before we find out if the eight facilities in Union County will have tax-funded improvements on the way. I'll give you a sticker. And with that, 82-year-old Ernest Talley did his civic duty in Union County, and so have Sandra and Steve Moss. We always vote. We've never missed an election ever. A tax referendum is on the ballot today. It's set to raise $20 million for a college, the animal shelter, and many recreational facilities in the county. As long as it's the upgrading union, I'm all in. Spartanburg Community College would get the biggest chunk with over $11 million for the construction of a career and technology center. We want union to succeed. I want the voters to trust in the idea that we put that together and it'll bring industry and opportunities to that county. Dr. Michael Makata sees growth in Union County's future. It'll be a game changer for Union. I mean, it'll make um, uh, the quality of life, per capita income, and, and growth perspectives you know, unimaginable in the next decade or so. I asked voters if they'd be okay with the 1% sales tax increase. Sandra says she'd think it will pay off down the line. We have great-grandchildren in school, and I hope it'll be a good thing for them when they get at that age. And Tally says the tax is worth it to see progress in Union County. If you're satisfied at what's the status quo, then stick with it. But if you want to move up, you need to make, you got to cost the progress. You got to pay the cost. And the polls are closing in less than an hour, so I'm expecting a lot of last minute voters to be making their way to the polls like they are now. And I guess we'll find out sooner or later whether or not those improvements are going to happen here in the county. Back to you guys.